Whoa. A bit dead in there, isn't it? Yeah, which means time is dragging. Well, I've got you a couple of post Hindu supplies. We have painkillers, energy drink, chocolate, obviously, and some of that face cream that you like that makes you feel a bit more human again in the mornings. This is why I'm marrying you. Really? I thought it was my rugged good looks. Mm, that too. Such a shame you won't need a hangover recovery kit. What with not having a stag do. I am having one. You're having a family dinner with your dad, brother and nephew. It don't count. Only way you'll end up tied naked to a post is if you forget to pay Nick the bill. Hey, it's not just them. Steve's going too. <gasps> Steve's going? Steve! It's practically a Ray. Yeah, ha ha. Very funny. Oh, Ray. Is this it? I thought we were having an end do. We are. I'm banished from the back room. Jenna and Jenny are putting up decorations and you are very early. Uh, excuse me. It is my daughter's last night of freedom. I am here to get the party started. Can we not say last night of freedom, please? Oh, no, I know. Well, she's yours for the rest of your life, but tonight it's about giving her a good little send-off. You make it sound like I'm dying. Uh -huh. In life, there are a few things worse than death and um, marriage is one of them. But I suppose everybody wants to try it at least once, so good job. I've got my little surprise coming to uh, liven things up a bit, which reminds me, I need to phone them and uh, confirm. Two ticks. I bet your surprise is dressed like a police officer in charges by the hour. No touching, please. Room for one more at the bistro? Nope. You're on your own. Enjoy. 